Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back yetting in the colony section yet again for an L-Pack attack from Swoosey. Uh, we've already done their Citadel map and I have not done Britain Must Fall. That's right. It says it's broken and bad and all sorts of things. And I just gave it a look see and it didn't seem broken, so let's give it a go. We are going to do this a normal, uh, not trying to do any super cheese or anything. Um, we have discovered a new land to colonize for the creep. These series of islands in the sea will be the starting point for our invasion of this earth. We have already uh, secured Dublin and will uh, spread out across these isles, liberating our brothers sent here centuries ago, still sleeping, waiting for the blue warmth of creep to wash over them once more. The seafaring peoples have deployed aircraft carriers in the ocean. <laughs> A dastardly move. Ooh, look up there. Uh, for sure. Uh, we shall sink their ships and their hope with our spores and air sac attacks. Two arms! I know this map is long, and that's not to everybody's taste. Personally, I like longer drawn out maps. This is my first ever map. Very, very cool. Awesome to see a first ever map, and I hope I learn from this to make more in the future. Well, I only saw one other L pack. I've not looked for other types, so I do hope there are more in the future. Um, but I don't think this is going to be too long or too drawn out, oddly enough. <clears throat> and again, our goal is to do this le normal, right? So that is the goal. Uh, we do start with four Egulons. Four Egulons is actually pretty darn good, if you ask me. So our goal... There's ships over here, there's ships over here. It looks like the ships are on multiple terrain. So we're going to be able to destroy those. That's kind of our goal. I want to take over this Island, but I want to do it without actually ever uh, upgrading anything over here. And f other than maybe air sac attacks, maybe skim limbs. The only thing that kind of sucks is we don't have... Uh, mesh. So without mesh, skims can never make forbs, which is fine. Uh, but we can never actually mesh over. So any upgrade we do to this emitter is actually going to be fairly useless to a degree. Uh, it's not completely useless, of course, but it's, it's you know, it's not that useful. So we are going to start, though, with a, a little Egulon. Mm, I would love it to be like right, right there is probably good. Uh, probably there probably there and we'll see what happens with this starting with three our goal will be to pop this right away so boop, 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 there we go oh, sweet we got snip of lips beautiful and this is actually going into the sea which was the goal so i just want this to kind of go on down here pop one over here beautiful so our goals get rid of these ships on over here that'll be nice uh, we want to start upgrading over on this side, for sure. And we still have time to go, but look at that. Just just one Egulon in the sea, boom, all of that is gone. Don't need to worry about it, you gotta love it. And it might even be able to... Actually, was that going to destroy this pylon? If it gets rid of this pylon, that's huge, because that's the entire connection point to this side of the map, if you ask me. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, bazinga bazonga. We're gonna, we're gonna mesh on over here for sure. We're just, we're just getting our eggs going. Getting our eggs going. And of course we are gonna want to Egulon down this way, right? Like this one. Let's let it spread. Let's let it take a second. You know, just, just enjoy. Uh, because we want to destroy this pylon over here for sure. But we also want to make sure we get this M-Rift, this over here, this over here. Get these three down. That's gonna feel pretty good if you ask me. And Bazinga, the island is completely ours already. That's pretty good, if you ask me. We already have an island. That pylon's going down, so that connection will never happen again. Power is pretty much limited to these two energy pods, which goes pretty quick <laughs> already. Uh, now, that being said, we do have to make sure we don't let them rebuild anything, but I'm pretty happy with that. And now our goal is just to free this next emitter. So we're already on emitter duty on main landia. Oh, well, I'm going to put put an egg here just so it did connect, as if it was not... Uh, it, that would have connected. We would have actually chained the creep. I did not. I don't want to put... Uh, you know, I, I didn't want to put eggs where we couldn't have gotten them there, you know? Because I'm trying to do it as proper as possible we're, do, we're proper playing right now we're proper playing um so yeah we, we already have a pretty strong start right i mean we've essentially uh null Ooh, let's get rid of that <laughs> yet again get out of here um we, we've basically semi taken this off land you know i'm gonna put another egg there just to sort of get rid of their ammo a little bit 
because I do want that, and I want to keep this going. I'm, I'm hoping they'll run out of ammo so they can't clear this area, because if they run out of ammo and can't clear it, then they can never rebuild this. And then we don't have to really worry about it. Because then all ammo will be diverted over here. Or all energy will be diverted to these. Ideally, that's the go. And yeah, we're just going to keep spreading our spreading our joy. Our creeper joy. So again, we want to we take out the planes. So just, you know, an Egulon here. Uh, an Egulon here, 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 and here. I don't even need that one. Don't even need that one. What am I doing? Uh, but I will put one, like, there. And we'll toss down. We can start using some rocks. So one there, two, three. That should hopefully take out this one and the two earned units. Uh, and I'll do one for this and one for that. Right? That way we take out some of the main offenders. And maybe we'll even toss an egg next to that earned mortar. Uh, we took out the other planes already. Not too shabby. And if we can gain this breeder terrain and just sort of hold it, that's pretty exciting to me. Uh, they're already running out of red on. Now, one thing that I do notice is they do still have energy. So the question is... Okay, there's an M-Rift on this side. Of course there's an M-Rift on this side. It's right there. So we need to change that. We only have a few eggs, though. So two. And if we put one here, I think that should be good. So that should then pop. No, maybe not. Um... Did I not put an egg? Oh, I didn't put an egg in the middle. Look at me, I'm the worst. Um, one. Ooh, this could get bad. This could get ugly. I definitely don't want it to be too ugly, ideally. And I don't want to use all my rocks over here. That's the problem. Uh, and I fear, I fear that I'm going to. But that's okay. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <clears throat> Make it kind of happen. Uh, bazinga. Do we need... <clears throat> Perfect. Get rid of the M-Rift. Beautiful. There we go. So now we have cut off this half of the map and this half of the map, and we're at three minutes. So that feels pretty good. Again, this is still getting energy. This still has the capability of rebuilding. However, it to rebuild is using the energy from pods going up to the top. But we have cut off all red on supplies, uh, which is great. This is now building, uh, produce, oh, no, it doesn't. Producing for us, please keep that production going. Uh, this is now going pretty strong, and their red on has been limited. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling feeling pretty good. We have all air. I mean, I don't want to say we have air domination. Unfortunately, we don't. Um, do I want to waste any? Like, I I could waste. <laughs> like these two pods over here are like enough to be annoying, um, and it just keeps rebuilding. So I guess. I should take out these pods. Oh, that's kind of gross to me. That's kind of gross. Uh, I don't want to do that. I was hoping this would be enough. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll keep it going. We, we still have time. Especially with this being done, we, we are in a pretty good spot. We can start to move down. Uh, I, w I actually should start upgrading this nullifier. This nullifier, of course, will be the next one. It is closer to the base. Um, things are going pretty strong now. And, ooh, I do want to get to these Berthas. Uh, these Berthas are definitely a big priority for me. Uh, but if I can just get like one, two, three. Uh, if I, we can just destroy these towers, then this top side will never be able to be rebuilt because they will keep stay out of ammo essentially forever because that ammo will never reach down. This creep should hopefully reinforce it to some degree. Oh no. That doesn't actually increase the number. I wanted to make that two, uh, but I feel like that's a little bit of a wasted upgrade. But that's okay. It's okay to waste an upgrade. Um, I do... It is nice when you have the Fire Swamp uh, edition where it shows you what the upgrade will do. My assumption is for air sac attacks, the first one always increases it. Um, oh, wow. I didn't even realize this is now pooping out eggs. Um... Because that ran out of power, because these the power from this was going everywhere else. So now no power is coming to this island. This side is completely fine. It's covered in creep. We are sorted. This island is done. No upgrades used. That's what I wanted to see. Um, and now we can start working on uh, some other things, right? We have, as you can see, the red on is not looking so hot, which is great. Uh, great for us, I suppose. Um, but we do need to plan out some rockitudes, right? Like, rock you, rock you. One, two, and three over here. We need a lot over here, right? 
Uh, I just want to start working on areas. Our, our goal can very easily be to take everything out, of course, or to just go straight for the base. I don't want to go straight for the base. It's a, honestly a little easier to go straight for the base at this point. We kind of control everything to a degree. So I'm just going gonna, gonna to do this, I think. Our goal will be to take this factory, take this emitter, break up, break this area as well, and hopefully turn it to the dock side. Um, there we go. Destroyed quite a lot. Got rid of a lot of earned units, which is fantastic. A lot of earned units, which I love to see. Oh, let me toss one more there. Oh, I did not get the factory. I was hoping to get the factory, which is a little bit of a sham. There we go. Factory down. A minter coming up. Uh, a lot of earned units destroyed. They will be replaced, most likely, with regular units. But for now, we have taken out the earned units, which is actually pretty sizable for us. Um with that regard and i am gonna try and get rid of some berthas next right get rid of a couple of these berthas because if we can oh they rebuilt the factory so fast oh man i was hoping the creep from this and all of the earned units being gone would have been enough unfortunate unfortunate so we do have some eggs down which is good but i do want to get this factory down again now, basically, the goal will be get factory down again. Then we take out the shields because they're out of red on. Once the shields are out of red on, uh, we will then be focused on the... Uh, ooh. Perfect. Perfect. Get rid of those two earned units. Lovely, lovely. Just, just nice sniping, right? You just get a little sniping. It feels so good. It feels so good. Um, and I think this factory is going to die to this, which is perfect. Just what I wanted to see. No more red on, no more shields. This area is just kind of pushing. It just kind of exists. We don't even care about it, right? Don't even care about it. This whole island is ours, which is even better for us. Um, this side is great. We could upgrade some skimmelims, but honestly, I don't know what the upgrade's going to do. So I'm kind of feeling just pumping the upgrades over here a little bit. And again, I want to get these Berthas down, ideally, right? If we can get these Berthas down, that's actually a pretty big thing. Because uh, Berthas, Berthas hit hard, right? They, they really chunk some uh, some strong creep. I don't mind the urn port, because as you can see, there is no power being generated. So my assumption is the urn port was fully powered before the map was operational. It means the urn port is not actually registering that there are urns inside of it. So it's kind of a broken thing. It's a little bit of a shame that that's a broken mechanic. Uh, for the sake of the humans, but for us, it's a, it's, it's a good thing. It means we don't have to worry about it. Um, as you can see, there is some AC, there is some fight left, and we're going to do, we're going to do some egg chaining now. Now is the time for the chaining, right? Um, this side, just falling slowly but steadily, you know, slow and steady, uh, breaks, <laughs> breaks the world. Um, good on you, spores. You did it. They landed. Um, I wish, like, if I could, right now, I would just put, like, a bunch of points into this to make this spawning multiples every two minutes. But we saw I put a point in. It was still five minutes and change. I don't know. I don't want to put 20 points into this and have it still be, like, two every five minutes. So I'm going to kind of hold back. Unfortunately, this is a creep only, in essence, run. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. Now, we're going we're gonna to do some backdoor action shenanigans. Um, but we're not going to take the base. That is the goal. The goal is not to take the base. So, there are a lot of units here. They're all... Ooh, that's, that's pretty much perfect. Just what I wanted to see. And bazinga bazinga. There we go. Bloop, 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 bleep. And our goal is basically just destroy their power. Let's just destroy their power a little bit. Right? I don't, I don't want to actually destroy their base. I just, I just want their power gone, you know? Not, nothing too bad. You know, maybe we'll hurt the base a little bit, but they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Look at all those mortars going. See, they're fine. They're fine. Uh, now, they did go from, like, 80 power to 11, but that's neither here nor there, you know? They, they can handle it, right? They'll rebuild all their miners. It's fine. It'll be fine. Um, it looks like this spore launcher is set to literally just fire on this one location, so I'm extra glad we didn't upgrade that spore launcher, uh, because no, there is no actual value in that. Uh, 
<laughs> no power will be coming up here anymore. We did destroy the port hairs. Um, yeah, I mean, there really isn't much left of that. I mean, the creep is just going to win at this point. I don't think we have to do another thing. Uh, you can see all of the, the earned uh, urns just going around. Oh, no. We need to put, like, one right there. Ooh, I popped it. Just just in case. Because I was using the blob nest there, not the creep. That was my fault. Uh, but we're just starting to do a little just a little side distraction. See, there we go. Just cut some of this some of this area off. You know, play with the food, you know? Just just enjoy yourself. Uh, we got an air sack attack. It's It actually pr might die just to these earned missile launchers with whatever Red Eye is involved with them. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. They're going to do their best. They're going to try hard. And you know what? I think we need a little bit of space creep to take out these, you know? So we do need some of that. I need one more to finish that off. Buzzinga. And that should finish off all of those. Ooh, actually, we might not finish off that one. Sham. Sham to me. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, as you can see, the creep is just advancing. They are putting up a good fight. And you know what? These earned units, they're doing amazing. So let's let's just give them a little helping hand. Just get rid of a couple of them. <laughs> you know? I mean, sometimes sometimes they just, just need that little bit of extra boost. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, no, I meant, I wanted that one and took out those two. Shame to me. Shame to me. Um, but again, the earned units do go down. Honestly, we're pushing in on the base a little bit more than I would like. I'd like to take this left side out first. That was kind of my goal. Um, but again, their power is looking pretty good again. So let's just, let's just stop that a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. Nothing too crazy. Just a little bit of power degradation. Oh, that might be too much. Ooh, yeah, it's way too much. I don't think they can defend against this. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, well, that's that's the map. Uh, there we go. We have done it! We have, have taken the map. Uh, yeah, the base is completely covered. It's amazing that it's really just still putting out some power, putting out some juice from this one tower, which is now destroyed. Oh, oh, now destroyed. There we go. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that, and I guess we need a uh, base. Goodbye. There we have it. So as far as a broken map is concerned, I don't really see it as broken. I will admit there are a lot of these breeder zones, so if you don't make it to the main island first or soon, um, you might have a little bit of a hard time landing because if there's too much AC, that's going to cause a problem. We're just getting rid of that to get rid of that. Or the creep will take this over. We'll help take this over. Although there really isn't that much that's going to stab us. So we'll just do a couple of these. Hopefully that will drain the energy, drain the AC, and let the creep win, of course. Uh, bazinga, bazonga. Those are all good. And I think this is the end of days. Uh, we'll put this there, but perfect. And that's breeding for us. There we go. We have done it. It looks like ever. Let's just touch for it. Just, just take it over, creep. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Just that little bit left. Good. And a tiny bit over here. One for you. One for you. One for you. One for you. And one for you. And there we go. Everything has some creep. We have taken over the British Isles. Let's get out of here. And there we go. 12 minutes again. Don't think it was too broken. Um, had a good old time. Uh, and again, we definitely could have egged much earlier, as you saw. But we were just taking it easy. Just chilling, relaxing. And I think it was a good old time. You know, not too bad. Still made pretty good time while still just, you know, sort of just doing what we were doing. You know, cutting off the things that we could. It was, it was good. It was good. It was good. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. Please leave a like, comment, and a subscribe if you can, if you haven't already, of course. Uh, more comments, more good. I do appreciate them all. And have a wonderful day. I'll catch you next time. Take care.